I look like George Washington. Good morning, it is a new day. Welcome to a brand new vlog. I probably shouldn't have showed you guys this hair thing, um, but if you don't have this, I bought this on Amazon. I will link it below, not sponsored. I just really love this product. UV Stylish Silk Heatless Curls Kits. I know you guys know this. Like, I feel like in the beginning of COVID, people were putting like robe ties, robe ties around their hair like this and then wrapping it around and tying it at the end. This is how I get these curls. And I have to say, I haven't done my hair in months. I haven't done my hair because I just have been in a funk. I just like took it out, like I pulled it up to let the ringlets stay. I'm not gonna brush them out until I'm done with my morning routine, until after I work out. So what are we doing today? I definitely want today to be a productive day, so hopefully that is what it will be. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my cup of coffee that my husband so kindly made me, write down my to-do list. I wanna show you my bedroom, not my bedroom, but my beauty room, because I showed it to you guys a while ago and was complaining that it was really dirty and I finally did something about it. So here's what I did. Much much cleaner. Ignore that. That's all going away. But my vanity is nice and clean. I set up my ring light for the day so that it gives us productivity vibes. That's a little bit of a mess, but honestly, there isn't like much on the floor. Tidying is a never ending task. And then this candle, guys. Mike bought me this for my birthday. It's White Barn Lakeside Morning. When you first get it and you open it, it smells super potent. Like, oh my God, I'm, it's going to suffocate me. But when you light it, it's definitely potent, but not that potent. So yeah, we're gonna sit, we're gonna write. I'm gonna be productive today. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do if I'm gonna leave the home. My aunt invited me to her pool, but like I said, I just like have a lot of anxiety lately, which we all know. Welcome, if you're new here. Hi, my name is Fortune. I have high anxiety, and I've just been vlogging about it lately because I'm trying to work through it, so. So I don't wanna look like this for much longer, so let's get on with the day. Begin to become more aware of your presence in this moment. Feeling how your body takes up space in the world around you. You begin to imagine a valve opening at the top of this sphere. I have done so many things today thus far. I'm feeling really good. Look at this robe. I wanna show you this robe. My aunt bought me this. Oh my God, it's so cute. I probably should have steamed it, but I wanna show it to you guys. She bought me this for, I hope you can't see my nips, but if you can, oh well. She bought me this for my bridal shower. Look how cute. Can you see it says bride on the back? Can you see? Come on. I really hurt my neck um, sleeping the other night, so I can't really twist and bend, but look how cute this is. And it's like really lightweight. I love the detail. I like really hurt my back sleeping the other night. I don't know what it is. Mike and I have been going to bed super early. Like I've been sleeping for 11 hours. I think that my anxiety plays a really big role in it. Like I just feel like I'm so anxious and it just drains me and I'm exhausted all the time. But yeah, I've just been like passing out and I've been like sleeping really weird and my shoulder and my back is like really bothering me. But anyway, I am gonna go ahead and just do my morning skincare routine. Which you guys have seen a million times, but this is where I'm at. I need to film a bunch of shorts because I have like no content for my Instagram because I just have been trying to listen to myself and if I'm just like not in a good place when I wake up in the morning I've just been reading and meditating and trying to get myself in a better place so if that means I'm not filming I'm not filming but today I feel like not filming has been giving me anxiety because I have no content to put up so I decided today I'm gonna film I had a really nice lovely morning got my mind right. I'm home alone. So today is like the perfect day to film because Mike isn't around and not that that's ever a problem, but you can like hear everything in this house when I'm filming. If he's just like walking, you can hear him. So I want to film a bunch of YouTube videos today. I'll put all of the products that I'm using right now down below. But if you guys have been watching my vlogs, 
you will have already known what it is I'm putting on my face. So I'm gonna film a get ready with me. I need to do a lip combo tutorial. God, there's just like so much to do and not enough time. And to be quite honest with myself and you guys, I have just been spending way too much time on YouTube. Like I've just been watching too many YouTube videos because ever since I started vlogging, I'm trying to like watch other vlogs to get a good idea of like what other people are doing, but it's taking away from our productivity like I'm not kidding you like I'll watch a 40 minute YouTube video which is like almost the length of a movie a short movie and then I look up and it's like where did that hour go so I need to be better just like rolling my face out a bit I want to start featuring more like holistic skincare on my YouTube channel in shorts and tutorials and whatnot. I told you guys I got Botox once. I got Botox in March of this year. I did it and I didn't really like it. Like I really didn't like how it felt. So I only got Botox here. They just made it so that this portion of my forehead is paralyzed. So I got one injection here, one injection here, and then a couple just to like stop this muscle from being able to do this. I have lines on my forehead, but they're really not that bad. And I gotta be honest guys, and I'm not just saying this to make myself feel better. I just feel like I go on YouTube and social media, whatever it may be, especially TikTok, and like everyone just looks the same and nobody has any lines. And I would love to not have lines, but at the same time, I also don't wanna look like everyone else and this might change. I'm not saying that I'll never get Botox or anything done again. I just don't wanna look like everybody else and I find that everybody is starting to look the same to me. And I think it's nice when people's foreheads are like smooth and you can't see anything, but also I find myself appreciating people's lines more. Like if there is a one-off, because that's really what it feels like, a one-off when someone doesn't have work done, it's like refreshing. I went to Ethos Spa in, is it in Summit? It was really nice, Mike got me a gift card. I really enjoyed the woman I went to, her name was Chrissy and she didn't push anything on me. She wasn't like, oh, we should do this, we should do that. She just asked me what I wanted and went with it and was like, I really think that's all you need if you just wanna look natural, blah, blah, blah. So they injected me, it hurt. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't like painless especially like in the middle here, like there was one here and one here that she did that did really hurt. But honestly, it wasn't even that bad. What I couldn't get past was how heavy my forehead felt for a good like 10 days. Like I would go to bed and I would just feel my forehead. And it's so weird because I don't know, like normally I'm, I don't feel my forehead right now. You know, like when you hurt your toe, I know this is so random, but you know when you hurt your toe and it's like your toe is throbbing and then you're like, wow, this is so weird. I don't even know what it's like to feel my toe. It was like that. Like, I don't know what it's like to feel my forehead. And then all of a sudden my forehead was so heavy for 10 days. I'm not gonna lie, I loved how it looked. My head, I don't know what it is. I don't know much about Botox. I probably should have done research, obviously before getting it done. But my forehead looked like so shiny, so dewy. It was so nice. However, I didn't like the feeling and it didn't last very long. And it's super expensive. Like I spent $300. Granted, I had a gift card. So personally, I didn't spend any money. But still, the price of it was $300 for like, I practically got no Botox and it lasted in my face for like two months. Like I'm not even kidding you, like eight weeks went by and I was able to move my forehead again. I just don't really know if it's worth it. If you do it and it makes you feel great, more power to you. But I'm someone where I work out all the time. Like I work out five, six, seven days a week. And not only do I work out, but I'm a sweater. I just feel like my body metabolizes things quickly. So I don't really know if Botox is the way to go for me. I'm kind of like against the whole anti-aging thing. Why are we against aging? Like aging is a privilege, you know? Like not every day is promised. I don't really like that narrative. And also I think there's much bigger things in life than getting a, a smile line or like a frown line or like a forehead line. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just where I'm at now. I know we all go through phases. Oh my God, that feels so good. Like I said, my neck hurts so bad. Like I said, ah, ah. <laughs> Guys, honestly, face rolling and gua sha, life-changing. I'm in this phase now where I just want to be as natural as possible. Like I'm trying to eat more holistically. I'm trying to eat more whole foods. I'm trying to like, think about what it is I put in my body. That's just like the vibe that I'm at now. And I want to like do more skincare research and use like oils that are just like one ingredient oils, like olive oil and jojoba oil. I don't know, I'm just feeling very hippie. 
and I'm entering like this hippie era where I just want to be happy and healthy. But right now this is where I'm at. So Botox, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. If you've gotten Botox, please let me know your experience down below. Do you know the heaviness that I'm talking about? Does it really bother you? Because in my experience, when I've spoken to people about getting Botox, like it really doesn't bother people. I feel like I'm the only one out of the people that I pulled that have been bothered. I mean, it's like pretty amazing what makeup can do. Like, oh my God, guys, I haven't done my makeup like this in the longest time. This is like my style of makeup. Like, I feel like this is very me. This might be wedding material makeup, TBD. I'm testing, I'm trying. I have my hands in a bunch of like my top favorite products. I just feel like my mood has been elevated since just doing my makeup. But now look at this mess that I get to clean up. Every single time I do my makeup. I don't know what happens. So I'm gonna clean this because I wanna make it a habit to clean things right after I'm done doing them so that I don't have to come back and worry about it later. Look at this inception. This is like wild. Just like a little beauty tip. I feel like I've mentioned this tip before, but here it is in action. I have my vanity mirror back there. And then I also have my little Ricky mirror. So when I'm doing my makeup, I can really see what I'm doing in this mirror, but then pull myself away to see what it looks like. Basically like is everything even symmetrically? You know what I'm saying? I pull away to see like what you would see if you were to see me in real life, if we were talking, interacting. So I get both perspectives and perception and if you are someone who struggles with your makeup or at least like struggles to get things symmetrical like your brows or your wing or whatever I highly recommend doing this I put you on my tripod I don't really know what's happening you look a little crazy one moment finish off my hair with you because I showed you what I put it in I'll do a whole thing next time I'll show you the whole thing but this time I'll give you, ow, 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 hold please, ouch, um, I'm just taking a wide toothed comb and I'm just gonna do that and kind of like just zhuzh the hair, I'll show you what it looks like, I might go fix it a bit, but I want to show you what it looks like if you were to just put it in that thing. Oh my God. I use coconut oil, coconut oil gel from IGK. I put that in my hair while my hair is like literally 90% dry. And then I wrap it around that I bought from Amazon. I just wrap it around that little like coil thing. This is what it looks like. Heatless curls, one night. I mean, these curls for the next few days are worth it, so. How freaking pretty. I might go fix the front a little bit. Um, yeah, I might go do that and clean out my mess. Do you know what I am a freak for? I am a freak for hand lotion. This one, not so much. Sila by Celine Tadrisi. It's kind of sticky. It smells really nice. Yeah, I'm not that crazy about this. Honestly, I like the Kiehl's hand salve. I also just like a good Aveeno hand lotion. Um, this just too thick. I'm going to use it because that's more economically and environmentally the right thing to do, you know? So now I got to put my jewelry on. This is a dress that I got from Tori Birch. I will show you guys the bottom of it, but it's really cute, really pretty. It doesn't really go with the vibe of my makeup. However, I do rent the runway, so I rent eight pieces a month and I pay to rent those pieces. And I've only worn this once and it was to like a two hour long dinner with coworkers. So I wanna wear it today. It has pockets, which I love. Um, and I like rent the runway because I get sick of clothes really easily. And again, I'm trying to be more eco-friendly and like I'm into the secondhand things like I bought designer handbags from Fashion File which is a pre-loved luxury site. I've just been trying to use things, reuse things and give things life so that has been me. It has been really healing. I find that being wasteful and having a lot of clutter around me and just like consuming too many things it gives me anxiety so that's where I'm at. I told you Hippie vibes, more hippie vibes. 
that's just my vibe. Out of everything that makes me happy in life, jewelry makes me the happiest. And that might sound really materialistic. I used to be obsessed with shoes until I realized that shoes get destroyed really easily. I destroyed a pair of Prada heels that I have and then I had to pay like $150 to get the emblem fixed on the bottom and I just if I could avoid that I would prefer that so I like premium designer shoes I do own some like designer shoes like uh, Mike bought me Jimmy Choo's I bought myself Gucci's before the pandemic happened but I got them like dirt cheap I think I actually vlogged about that a long time ago but yeah so jewelry makes me happy. So for my necklace today, I'm wearing this gold chain. All of this is real gold. Um, gold chain that is my late great aunt's chain. I love jewelry the most because jewelry is super sentimental to me. Horn means good fortune. And then this is Maloika. That's the hand that's kind of like, it's like an evil eye. Like it wards off people who are wishing bad luck upon you. So it's like an Italian thing. So I bought the Maloika. Am I saying that right? Grandma, please. Grandma, in the comments, leave it in the comments how you say it, Maloika. I just love the way my grandma says it. But this I bought when Mike and I were on our honeymoon in Italy, we were in Positano. I think Mike actually bought, no, I bought this for myself and Mike bought me a bracelet in Positano. And then the horn is from my parents from this past Christmas. And when I opened it, I got very emotional just because I know that this is a piece I'm going to wear for the rest of my life and it's something that my parents gave to me. So I don't know. I just find that jewelry is meant to be lived in and I find that out of all of the pieces one can own, in my opinion, like jewelry tells a story. Like jewelry tells your life story because there's jewelry that I literally wear every day, um, i.e. my engagement ring and wedding ring. Hello. Most beautiful. Mike like killed it when he did this, okay? I told him I wanted a pair and then he got four stones on each side um, because four is my favorite number. So he got four and four. 44 is my lucky number. And then I just got a band that it can sit into. So there's that. My Cartier bracelet that my husband bought me for our one year wedding anniversary. And we had a wild, wild first year. Like it was just a lot of things happened. Happiness and joy and excitement, but also pain and sorrow. So this is just like something that really means a lot to me. And I literally wear this every day. It's a mess but it is a piece of me and I feel like the piece that tells the biggest story of me is my Cartier bracelet. I love bracelets when Mike and I were in Italy on our honeymoon. Again, best time of my life. I bought a bracelet in every single town that we went to except for Milan. I didn't buy one in Milan but I bought one everywhere else. But as my wedding gift, I would say this Cartier love bracelet is what literally tells the story of my life without even saying, and I know that might sound crazy, but do you get what I'm saying? Like I literally, Mike gave this to me the day we got married and I haven't taken it off since. And our wedding anniversary is June 4th, 2021. So I've been wearing this for over a year and she is battered and she is bruised. She is a piece of me, literally, I love her. Um, and it means a lot to me because it was my wedding gift from my husband that I never take off. So I don't know. This is also um, a diamond tennis bracelet that Mike bought me for Christmas one year, I'm pretty sure. One of our first few years together. I mean, we have been together for eight years, um, almost. So this is a tennis bracelet that he bought me. This is our wedding date, 6-4, June 4th on my wrist, you know? Just like really obsessed with my husband, although everyone but him seems to know that. And then beautiful evil eye bracelet. I love me an evil eye, evil eyes. They're where it's at. I don't I don't need your bad juju. This is a bracelet that my girlfriend Bailey bought for me when she went to Greece a couple months ago, which I'm obsessed with. And like when I think of Greece, I think of blue. I love it. And then this is a little Fendi bangle that I bought when Mike and I were in Florence on our honeymoon. I absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty, so cute. And then at that same Fendi store, I bought these Fendi earrings, which honestly I never, ever, ever wear because they're heavy, but I love them. I either do this thing where I change my earrings every day or I just put earrings in and I leave them in forever, which, has what I, which is what I've been doing ever since I ordered from this really cute shop on Etsy. It's called Another East. This is the pack 
packaging that it came in, but I just ordered like a bunch of really small earrings. I bought a bunch of them. I've been leaving them in my ears, but then I took them out yesterday because I was like, you know what brings me happiness? When I put my jewelry on every day. So let me add another step of happiness by taking out my damn everyday earrings and mixing it up. I wanted to just show you guys the outfit of the day. I'll do like, oh, can I flip you? Here, let's see, can I flip you in this? Oh yes. I love this tripod, holy shit. This is an awful angle. However, you can see the dress that I'm wearing. It's so cute. I'm not wearing any shoes because I'm literally dressed like this to not leave the house. But sometimes you just gotta do that for your mental health, for your sanity, to make you happy. I'm trying to decipher what beauty products I'm gonna wear the day of my wedding. So I bought this travel case off of Amazon. You guys have seen it before. This is super, super convenient when going away on vacation. However, I really love this bag that I showed you guys in one of my more recent vlogs to just like grab and go. But like when I'm going on an extended vacation, so like when I go to Greece, I will probably bring this bag. It holds so many things and like the organization is perfect. So it has a little pocket here to put um, like eyeshadows and whatnot. And then in this section, it has brush cases, like somewhere for your brushes to go and then a protective case over it. And then I'm just throwing crap in here. But so far, I just wanted to show you what we're thinking. In terms of powder, um, I either want to do a Laura Mercier or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video. I think I like the Laura Mercier better, but TBD. NARS Skin Deep Eyeshadow Palette. This is discontinued, but it's just a bunch of pretty... Oh, I'm going to break it. The, the NARS palettes are so hard to open. I'll open it in a minute. Thinking for powder contour. I'm going to use the Hello Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette just because I really love this color. However, I might want to use my Scott Barnes palette the day of. Let me just pull that so I don't forget about it. Let me pull this so I don't forget about it. I'm making a mess. So Scott Barnes, seven years bad luck. I know, ignore that. Powder contours and then RCMA concealers and foundations, but there's also like a good contour shade. So I'm going to take this out as well, just because I love this palette. It's so, so natural on the skin. But then for foundation, I'm thinking I want to use this, the Guerlain L'Essentiel foundation. It's a little old. Um, I might have to buy a new one, but I'm wearing it today and I feel like it looks really good on camera and in pictures. And then I want to see like which cream contours better. OG in copper. And then I have Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood contour wand. I don't know which one I like better and honestly I might not end up wearing either of these to the wedding. I might just stick with my RCMA palette but I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video of these two as well. Obviously a sharpener because I'm gonna need to sharpen eyeliners and lip liners the day of and then for brows my Merit brow gel probably. I'm thinking the Araceli brow pencil in I think this is called blonde. Oh my god this is blonde. Interesting. I like that color though. Eyelash curl Duh. And then Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown is my favorite brown eyeliner. And that is just what has been in here thus far. And as I do my makeup and I find things that I love, I'm just going to throw stuff in here, you know, remind myself to also test out because I need to do like a makeup trial. So these are the products that I'm thinking as of right now. I'm just conveniently going to leave this near my vanity. So when I'm getting ready, I can just toss things in there. Exciting.